Welcome to Lamins.com and our lab video series in BGP. You can find a complete list of BGP video on our website by clicking on the link above and sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. The concept of route summarization is nothing new. You basically advertise a single route that represents a multiple more specific routes, whether to reduce the routing table size or to change the way traffic is routed in your network. BGP route summarization works the same way as any other routing protocols, with the exception that it has no concept of direction. As you see that a single aggregate command is all you need and the summary routes is advertised to all the neighbors. In this video, we will be configuring BGP route summarization and the related features which includes suppressed map, unsuppressed map, AS set, advertised map, route injection, and route filter. Now for our network topology, we are still dealing with seven routers as we have in the previous lab. Router R1 through R7 each groups into a different autonomous system and each has a loopback 10 through 12 with the router number on the first two octets and they all have a BBGP or IBGP configured. And these are what we have completed by the end of the lab video RS0058 so we're just going to pick up and continue our configuration from there. Okay so let's get started with our task number one which is summarization with suppressed map. So we need to configure R3 to advertise a summary route of so its loopback 10 through 12 and the summary route has to be the smallest subnet possible. So let's take a look at R3 right here. So loop back 10 to 12, and that's 3300 all the way through 3320. And the summary route for us is going to be 3300 source slash 22, which is the smallest subnet possible. Okay, and then the actual subnet of the loopback 11 and 12 should continue to be advertised, and we are not allowed to use the summary only command. Okay, so let's talk about this for a second. So by default, without the summary only command, unlike the other routing protocols, all of the more specific route will be advertised along with the summary route. But since the task wants us to continue advertising loopback 11 and 12, that means we have to come up with a way to stop advertising the loopback 10, which is part of the summary routes. And that's going to be accomplished through a mean of suppressed map. Let's jump over to our router number three. First, we're going to need to create a prefix list that match our R3 loopback 10. And we know that our R3 Leap back 10 is 3300 slash 24. And in order to, to configure a suppressed map, it requires a route map to be associated to it. So we have to come up with a route map. And we're going to call it suppress r3 leap back 10 permit 10. And we're going to match IP address prefix list r3 leap back 10. Okay. And then under the router BGP, uh, 200. To configure a summary route, what you need is an aggregate address command with a question mark, and then that would be the subnet or prefix of your summary route. For us, it's 3300, and then followed by the subnet mask, and we said in order to include both or all of the loopback 10 through 12, it's going to be slash 22, which is small as possible. And if you do question mark right here, you have a couple options. The first one would be the summary only, and the task says that we are not allowed to use that, as well as the suppress map. But before I go ahead and add the suppress map to that, I just want to show you what it looks like just with the aggregate address command by itself. So I press enter right here, and I do show IP BGP on R3. You can see that in the R3 BGP table, you have the summary route along with the three loopback, which is the more specific routes. Okay, and if we hop over to let's say R1, which has the BGP session with R3 and do show IP BGP, you will see that R1 is receiving the summary route in addition to the three regular loopback routes. Okay, so that's without the summary only. But what we need to accomplish in this task is to suppress the loopback 10. So let me go back to R3. Let's redo the command we just did with the suppress map and then we tie that to the route map that will define the route that needs to be suppressed. Okay, so let me find the route map right here. Okay, enter. Let me do show IP prefix list. Detail, you can see we've already got a hit count. So let's one more time hop over to R1 and then do a show IP BGP. And you can see that the route for 3300 slash 24, which is the R3 loopback 10, is no longer in the R1 routing table. So you can see compared to what we saw previously, but since that route has been suppressed by our suppressed map, R1 no longer receives that from R3. But if you perform a ping to 3301, 
sourcing from loop back 10 of R1, you should still see the IP is still pingable because R1 follow the summary routes to R3. So show IP routes 3301. As you can see, it's matching the 3300 slash 22. We should be seeing the same thing uh, on R4. So show IP BGP neighbor. So we're all interested in, in the routes that's being received from R3. So neighbor IP and then routes. Uh, that should be 34, I believe. There you go. And you can see that the R4 is also no longer receiving 3300 slash 24 routes. Okay, test the ping real quick. You can see that's also pingable from R4. Okay, so that's how you use the suppress map along with the BGP aggregate command. Next is our task number two with summarization with unsuppressed map. So unsuppressed map is like a reversed of the suppressed map. So instead of advertising everything and selectively stop or block certain routes from being advertised, we're just going to advertise a summary route and then we're going to route leak, if you will. So in other words, you're unsuppressing certain specific routes so it can be advertised along with the summary routes. So the concept is very similar to a route leaking. So what we need to do is configure R6 to advertise a summary route. So if it is loop back 10 through 12, and the summary route must be again small as possible uh, subnet with the loop back, the actual subnet of the loop back 11 and 12 continue to be advertised, and we are need to use the summary only command. All right, so let's go ahead and let's take a quick look at the diagram. So that means R6 have to advertise that to R3 and 4. So let's hop over to R6. First, we need to define a prefix list to match the routes that we need to unsuppress. And in our case here is the loopback 11 and 12 of R6. So we need to come up with IP prefix list. We're going to call it R6 LO11 LO12. And then that will be permit 6610 slash 24. And then 6620 slash 24. Similar to a suppress map, that utilizes a route map. Unsuppress map also works the same way. So we need to come up with a route map. So unsuppress, and then let me just copy that. Permit 10, match IP address, prefix list, copy paste. If you do go to router BGP 200, which is R6, perform the aggregate address command with the summary prefix of 6600-255-255-252-0. But this time we're going to be using a summary only since the task said we must use a summary only command. So let me go ahead and do that. Question mark. You can see that there isn't really an option for unsuppressed map or as part of the aggregate address command. So let me go ahead and enter that. And just to show you what it looks like, let me hop over to router 3 and then do a show IP BGP. It might take a couple seconds, but hopefully there you go. So it's been updated already. So we no longer seeing the loopback 11 or actually loopback 10 through 12 specific routes anymore. Since we use a summary only command, but now we're just seeing a single summary route 6600 slash 22. Okay, so what we're going to have to do now is to unsuppress or route leak the loopback 11 and 12 subnet from uh, on R6. And the command to do that is the unsuppress map is part of the neighbor command so you can selectively choose your neighbor as far as which neighbor you want to route leak to and we said r6 is peering with r3 and r4 so we'll start off with r3 which is the ibgp session so using the r3 loopback the question mark and go all the way down to the bottom we see right here unsuppress map so route map to selectively unsuppress routes okay so unsuppress and then we tie that to our Unsuppressed route map. Okay, you have to do the exact same thing unless you only want to do it with one neighbor, but for us, we want to do all neighbors, and that's to R4. So 46.4 unsuppress, and most likely you have to clear just to make sure that the change we just made takes effect. We have to clear BGP to the neighbor or refresh the route. So we clear IP BGP without bouncing the BGP session. Dot 34, actually 46.4. Now hopping back to 
router three. Let me do another show IP BGP command. And you can see right there now, in addition to the summary routes of slash 22, we see the two additional slash 24 route, which belongs to R6, loopback 11 and 12. Okay, and we should be seeing exact same thing on R4. Although R4 is learning those routes from multiple directions, okay, both from R2 and also R3. But the point is those uh, two additional routes are now there. So it's been leaked successfully. Okay, so that's our task number two.